So we've touched on hashtags a couple of times already within this course, but what I'm gonna do here is show you the advanced section that's really gonna help you get more followers on your Instagram account and also more views to your Instagram account, so more people discovering you organically on the Instagram app. So this is done in two ways. First of all, I'm gonna go through Tags for Likes, which is an awesome resource that will show you the best Instagram tags to use for your media. And the second one is a separate strategy which helps balance your Instagram tags between really popular ones and recent ones in order to get them on the most eyes. So to start, let's jump into tags for likes and knowing what the most popular hashtags for your Instagram media could potentially be. So here we are on tagsforlikes.com and it's a really, really cool resource that'll show you what the most popular tags on Instagram are and the most popular tags for different sort of categories. So you can scroll down the page and right here you'll see 25 tags, which is the limit of the amount of tags that you can put on one piece of uh, media on your account, so either a photo or a video. And these are the top 25 tags on Instagram right now. Coming down further, because these probably wouldn't be relevant to all of your pitches, what you wanna do is you wanna find the category of your business. So you may run something a business to do with animals. So you click the animal tags, you can come down, you might have a picture of a dog going up. So you would use these 25 tags to tag your image in or a variety of tags within these 25 because these are the most popular tags there are when it comes to photos of dogs, which means it has the most eyes searching for these Instagram tags and the most people who can then organically discover your account this way. So if you're in the food, if you run a restaurant, or if you're posting a photo of some food that you're eating, come down into food and, and select these tags in here. If you're drinking coffee, the same here. If you run a fashion business, there's your fashion tags for guys, for girls, for your hair, for makeup, all sorts of tags in here based on what is most popular. So it's really easy to come in here and copy and paste this into your Instagram photos in order to boost their reach. So now I'm back in my Instagram app and Instagram profile, and I'm gonna show you exactly how using hashtags increases the reach of your account on Instagram and how you can get people to find your account by using these Instagram hashtags. So once again, Instagram hashtags are like buckets or categories that you put your photos and media into, and they're searchable. So if someone goes to the search page and then searches tags, which is short for hashtag, it searches fun. Anything that's been posted under hashtag fun is gonna come up and you'll be able to find all these people that I don't know who have tagged their photo hashtag fun. So I'm just searching through that. I'm gonna see uh, people that I haven't seen before and discover new things. So something more relevant to me would be I'm in Vancouver right now. If I search hashtag Vancouver, it's just something I might be doing because I'm looking for something to do. I'm looking for some cool sites or hikes around Vancouver. I can see this one right here. This is a great photo. And all of a sudden, I've come across someone's profile who I don't know. So really useful to use hashtags. And this is actually an interesting recording that I'm doing right now because by the time I've recorded this, the Instagram app has actually changed. It used to be when you use a hashtag, it used to sort by top hashtags and most recent hashtags. And I'm still recording this for you guys now because the Instagram app is always changing and you never know what's gonna come back and what's gonna stick. But essentially what I'm showing you is by using hashtags on your profile, such as me using hashtag basketball on this photo that I posted of me, my friend, playing basketball, people have seen and discovered this photo who wouldn't normally see it. Now, they may bring back the top hashtags where the most liked photos for each hashtag stays on top of this page and the most recent fall underneath that. They may not, it's constantly evolving and I'll update this course as Instagram updates. But the thing you wanna focus on here is just using hashtags to extend your reach no matter how Instagram make them searchable. There's always gonna be extra people finding your hashtags if you're putting them on your photos. Uh, one extra bonus tip I'll point out is you can either put them in the description of your photos. If you've forgotten to do that or if you think of extra hashtags, you can always come in and comment on your photo and you can put a hashtag in here uh, after the fact that it's been posted. So that's really easy to do. Once again, keep your eye out for top hashtags because that's a great way to get extra promotion for your account. 
If it doesn't make an appearance back in Instagram, I'll be back into this lecture and I'll be updating that soon. But the takeaway for the lecture is definitely to use hashtags to get your media out there.